a very good day to all of you. I hope it is not too late for me to wish all of you a belated Happy New Year. I hope uh, 2023 has been a good year for you and 2024 will even be a better year for you. Today, my topic is on don't be a victim. Now, blaming other people when things don't go to plan, you know, or when you fail, it's very, very tempting, right? Because it is a way of absorbing yourself from any responsibility at all. Suddenly, you are the victim, which implies that there was nothing much more that you could do and that the failure is not the problem. You can make yourself feel even more helpless by being convinced that someone was actually sabotaging your hard work and effort. Very familiar, right? <laughs> I mean, it is really, really very common for us to blame others when things don't go well. And this mentality can take you to only one place. And the place is called nowhere. So the reality, of course, is that good things and bad things do happen to all of us. And that's life. But if you look through the eyes of a victim, you will feel hard done by and believing that life is punishing you. And this can make you very bitter, angry, and you will end up blaming everyone else for the misfortune rather than assuming the responsibility yourself. Then, <laughs> you see, the big problem with this approach is that instead of looking for the reasons behind your failure, and then, you know, you go about to find a solution, you will simply waste your time, you know, on complaining and not learn anything from the experience. Such people will only attract others with the same kind of mindset. You know, where there's a you know, mixing a danger cocktail of negativity that stifles personal progression. Right? So it's very, very dangerous, you know. So, and by, ex by accepting that you are not a victim, see, by accepting that you are not a victim, either of any individual or circumstance, what happens is that you will begin to look for the real reasons behind your failure. Now, this will help you find all possible reasons or solutions, and it will give you a better chance of success the next time round. And what's more, the whole experience will become a learning process and it will help you to develop not only personally but also professionally and taking responsibility will attract all right admiration and respect from all those around you and it will act as a motivational stone or a stepping stone you know and don't fall into the trap of being a victim you know or you know, to the victim mentality. It's very, very important. So, I would like to sh share with you five steps on how to get rid of this victim mentality. Number one, never ever feel sorry for yourself if things go wrong. I mean, things can go wrong and, and it will go wrong, you know, at times. So, the first thing that you should do is don't feel sorry. The moment you feel sorry, yeah, that's you already put your foot into that, you know, uh, victim mentality. Number two, you need to embrace the philosophy that life owes you nothing. Okay, and success or failure is basically up to you. You see, the company don't owe you anything. Your parents don't owe you anything. Your colleagues don't owe you anything. The government, in fact, don't owe you anything. So you see, you must embrace this philosophy. We like to point our fingers at everyone. We point the fingers at the government when something goes wrong. We point the finger at our parents, you know, when you know something goes wrong. We point the finger at the company when things, you know, when things go wrong. So we need to embrace this philosophy. We need to start learning and tell ourselves that life owes us nothing. Number three. When things go wrong, always ask yourself, 
what would you do differently the next time see that is the thing that you should do instead of feeling sorry for yourself the first thing that you do you should ask yourself what can i do differently you know to ensure a different result doing the same thing 1000 times will not give you a different result all right always remember that <laughs> number four when you are tempted to blame others tell yourself that you need to assume responsibility so that you can move forward and to find a solution and lastly rather than thinking why does this always happen to me why me pity me you know now i want you to change your mindset all right to what went wrong and how can i remedy it the next time in my company we have this uh, you know uh, in fact not only in my company i practice in my company but i learned it in my training as a certified professional trainer all right where you have these three golden rule right at the end of anything that you do always always ask yourself what went well what did not go well and what would you do if you need the next time around all right so always remember this like it's not difficult but it's just that you need to change your mindset now they there is this uh, 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 you know uh, an anonymous saying that says that feeling sorry for yourself and your present condition is not only a waste of energy but the worst habit that you could possibly have right so the moment you feel sorry for yourself all right not only it is the worst of it you know sucking up and taking up all your energy but you know it is the worst of the habit you know that you can have right so i hope my little uh, sharing of mine all right will resonate with you and uh, once again i am philip leong i'm doing what i am doing for the very fact that leadership matters because people matter all right so i see you in my next video all right and do take care stay safe and be a blessing to all those around you bye bye